Jazz band just opened with Chattanooga Choo Choo, which is a jazz standard made famous by the Glenn Miller Orchestra. It's about a conversation between a shoeshine boy and a passenger about the Chattanooga train. Next, jazz band is going to perform a piece called Avenue R. Uh, Rob Bueno Jr. was inspired to write this song uh, based on his family's trip to Brooklyn to visit his grandparents. When he got to Avenue R, he knew they were close. This, a cha-cha chart with an overlaying clave part. The cha-cha is a Cuban dance. The name of the dance is an automatopoeia derived from the shuffling sound of the dancer's feet when they dance two consecutive quick steps on the fourth count of each measure. This piece will feature solos from Lily Cherney, Connor Ekdahl, and AJ Fox.
Ye Jazzy Gentlemen. <clears throat> Ye Jazzy Gentlemen is a swing take on the Christmas carol, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. On December 16th, the jazz band is going to, on the road to perform this and other Christmas tunes at the Monroe Elementary Schools to get them excited about the performing band and the holiday season. The jazz band is also going to be performing <clears throat> at the theater extravaganza on December 16th and 17th. We hope to see you there. Thank you. 
1986, an international law was created to outlaw whaling. Despite this law, some whalers continue illegally hunting whales with little to stop them. Whale Warriors is a piece that tells the story of Captain Hull Watson and his organization, the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, that aims to stop illegal whale hunting. Some of their methods include throwing stink bombs on whaling ships to make the crew sick, using prop fowlers to jam engines, and even ramming into ships. Captain Watson and his crew are credited with saving the lives of thousands of whales. This piece captures a day on this ship. It begins with a quiet morning at port. Soon, the ship leaves port and, under for and unfortunately discovers a dead whale, and the piece takes on a somber character before finishing with a hopeful, resilient feeling. Thank you. 
Vanishing Point is a minimalistic piece inspired by the coast of the Great Lakes. Minimalism in music is short, repeated patterns being layered, o layered over each other. This piece features tricky rhythms and time signatures that Wind Ensemble has been mastering. And now, imagine you are sitting on the shores of the Great Lake, gazing into the horizon, all the way to the point where the lake and the sky meet.
ladies and gentlemen. Wind Ensemble is going to play a cowboy symphony. Pierre Laplante wrote this tune using several cowboy songs. The first movement, called the Chisholm Trail, uses the song The Girl I Left Behind Me as its first theme. Before getting up holler, that woke up <laughs> that woke up cowboys at the camp before breakfast each morning. The third movement, A Cowboy at Dance, is about the much anticipated events at the Cowboys camp at the, at the Cowboys camp. This tune features the 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 dance tunes, Buffalo Gals, Golden Slippers, and Soldier's Joy. To skip to my loop, there's a slower break where the young couple might be, talk, might be talking before the dance resumes and ends with a large finale. We hope you all enjoy.
everyone. Thank you so much for coming out again tonight. If I haven't already met you, my name is Erin Hickey. I'm the new band director here this year, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I hope you've enjoyed our concert tonight. Before we get to our last tune, I just have a couple of thank yous I'd like to announce. First, thank you to Heidi Witt for designing the concert programs for us. Thank you to Jenny Bochar for running the mics and the sound system tonight. Thank you to Alex Lenz and Brian Bergman for their support uh, for me during my first year here at Monroe. Thank you so much to the administration for their support for the band and all the arts programs here. Thank you to all you, the family members and supporters of the band who encourage these students in all their musical endeavors. From practicing, pep bands, extra rehearsals, your efforts are really greatly appreciated, both by me and the students up here on the stage. Right? Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> And then thank you so much to these students up here for welcoming me to Monroe this year and for all their hard work so far. I truly can't wait for the rest of the year and can't wait to hear what they're going to play. Um, as you exit, if you were so inspired by their performance, there is a donation drum. Uh, you can throw in any amount to help celebrate the band, maybe a pizza party, you know, something fun like that. Okay. Uh, our final piece for the night is a tune called Joy Revisited by Frank to Kelly. This piece represents the simple, unabashed joy Frank had when his first daughter was born. The main theme of this piece came to him then, and he wrote two pieces with it. The first piece, simply called Joy, is an excellent middle school band tune with that theme. Joy Revisited, which we're playing tonight, took that theme, added more parts and difficult passages that you will hear from the combined bands. Thank you so much for coming out tonight.